Hey people, I'm back, and you might find this surprising, but this is one of the team of the seasons I've been waiting for, just really because of this man right here. Just the beast, and this man, obviously. 87 base. <laughs> oh my god. Right, anyway, starting off, we've got Landrau. Sorry if I pronounce any of these wrong. What teams he play for again? SC Bastia. Was he the Leal keeper last year? I'm not sure anyway. You can correct me on that or not. Whatever. <laughs> but 87 diving, 91 reflexes, and 85 positionings. Really good together. And 84 handling is again very good. 87 kicking, I don't really mind kicking and speed stats. I never run my keeper out anyway. But he looks very good. I'm thinking he'll be quite cheap by end of week because I don't think that many people will see him as being that good. But. Definitely want to try him out. Next, we got Rod Fanny. <laughs> but seriously, 89 pace, very good. 84 defending, 80 heading, very good. This guy's actually been really good for Marseille. So, yeah, moving on. Big Tiago, Tiago Silva. Look at these stats 87 pace centre back with 86 passing. Actually a fairly decent shot as well for centre back. Ninety four defending, ninety heading, seventy nine dribbling. <laughs> I just wanna know what sort of steroids he's taking. Honestly. Next we got Nakulu. I think this ain't this a remake. No no no. Yeah? No, yeah. I think they're releasing this again, wasn't he in the most consistent one? I think he was. So they're just going to release this card again, I'm presuming, like they did with that Borgia Valera the other day. 82 pace, 79 passing, 88 defending, 81 heading. Again, going to be a very good partnership, actually, with Tiago Silva, or possibly the guy on the bench, that one, I think. But you'll get to him when we get round to it. This is going to be a very long video, just because I'm trying to cover them all with quite a bit of detail. So next, Tremolinas, I think he's had two informs, and now this. Again, very good pace, very good passing, very good all-round stats. His lowest stats are 72, and he's an 83 overall. That's pretty beastly. So next, where I can find the mouse, <laughs> we got the man, the big man himself, Valbuena. If anyone's ever used him, you know how good his ball control is. He just dribbles through players with ease. That's why I love him so much. And then he can unleash a right shot at the end if you use one of his informs. I don't think his normal is all that good, but his right mid and the 84 one are pretty beastly. So 89 pace, 91 passing, 90 dribbling, as well as 81 shot. Looking very good there. Next, Matuidi. Again, this guy's going to been very very solid for PSG and he's been one of their key players I'd say so we got 83 pace, 83 passing, 80 dribbling, 85 defending, 82 heading and 68 shot again good all round stats we're seeing that a lot from these so next Balamon not really seen much of this guy That's... I am actually I remember he had an informer too, I think, on Viva 12. I remember that. I ain't used him on this game, actually. 87 passing is definitely a standout stat. 83 dribbling and 83 defending as well. Again, good all-round stats there. So next, Payette. Look at this. Just look at this. Just, just let that sink in. And he's a four-star skiller, and I think he's four-star weak foot as well. 89 pace, 87 shot, 87 passing, 86 dribbling. Very, very good. Next, we've got Zlatan, the big Zlatan, 94 overall. I think this is similar to his team of the season last year, but at that time we were playing for Milan, I think. I think at that time we were playing for Milan. Just, oh my god. 83 pace, that is a big increase, I think, from his normal. I think his normal is like 70 odd. A 96 shot. That's... Oh my god. And he's a 5 star skiller. 86 passing as well is really good for a striker. 92 dribbling, obviously. His ball control is going to be really good. Look at his smug expression. 
just like, yeah, I'm a nutty four and what? And then obviously now Beastly is in the air. So next up, Jeremy Aliadier. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Possibly. Don't know. Some very good stats for a silver there. 85 pace, 75 shot, 77 dribbling. When you've got three stats over your overall, you're doing a good job. <laughs> so next we've got the second keeper. Johan Furum Ulian. Ulian. I don't know anyway, it looks very good for a silver 82 diving, 81 reflexes. Next we got Arulian Sheju. Sheru? I don't know. Okay, pretty cool anyway with his blonde streak down his hair. Again, good all round stats, but this isn't who I was saying that he could be partnered with. Next, this is who I was saying he could be patterned with. Look at that, 80 pace. It, this, they're just all such pace whores, these centre-backs in this league. Uh, even Sheju's at 70, you can't complain about that, and he's very solid defensively. All got good passing as well, it must be something about that league. So next, Didier Degard. That seems too easy to be pronounced right. Sorry if I'm wrong. Again, good all round stats. Next, we have got Remy Cabela. I think this guy's a fast Askeler as well, which is all good. So, 85 pace and 85 dribbling being his standout stats. Again, I probably want to use this card. Next, oh my god. I personally love Albama Yang, I think that's how it's pronounced. I think his quality in life and on FIFA, you can't knock him. Sorry about that. You can't knock him at all. 96 pace, 86 shot. What is he doing? <laughs> Just what is he doing? That I think that joins him up with like the fastest players on the game other than like Messi's and Ronaldo's in forms and stuff like that. But that joins him up at like... Basically, Walcott and Biabiani level and Rojas, I think he's called the other one. Which is just insane. And then last but not least, we have got again one of my favourites from FIFA's. Jeremy Menez. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy? Because, you know, it's too hard to say Jeremy. No, I, think, I think it is Jeremy, just because he's French. Jeremy Menez? I don't know. Anyway, very good player. I'm happy they've made him central instead of right wing or right mid or whatever. I'm happy that he's, you can play him as Cam, which is where I usually play him, as I got used to it on the last one. Oh, I miss his five star skills. Sorry about that. I'm just twitching. <laughs> Not twitching. Shuffling. That's it. Anyway, so yeah, 90 pace, 90 dribbling, 81 shot. 8-6 passing. I think, I know I don't like 4-5-1 and you're going to hate me for this. Main is at Cam, Valbuena at Cam. And it'd be unstoppable. It doesn't matter if they're both right footers. They'd just, they'd still be beastly. I think Valbuena's 4-star, four 4-star four anyway. I don't know about Main is. He might be the same actually. But either way, I think they'd be beastly. But look at that. <laughs> I can't get over how good they've made that. Oh, God. Right. Tiago Silva. I don't care how much you're going for, I'm buying you. <laughs> so, yeah, if you've enjoyed this Team of the Season League, League U 1 review, then feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.